Quiver City. <laughs> Shit. Didn't think they'd ever let him out. He kept his head down. Helps people forget. People will remember soon enough. When they see him walking down the streets of their neighborhoods, it will be bad for business. Well, what are we going to do, Sonny? We treat him like an old friend and keep him busy out of town, okay? We've been talking about expanding down south, right? Vice City is 24 karat gold these days. The Colombians, the Mexicans, hell, even those Cuban refugees are cutting themselves a piece of some nice action. But it's all drugs, Sonny. None of the families will touch that shit. The times are changing. The families can't keep their backs turned while our enemies reap the rewards. So, we send someone down to do the dirty work for us and cut ourselves a nice, quiet slice, okay? Who's our contact down there? Ken Rosenberg. Schmuck of a lawyer. How's he gonna hold for Sonny's leash? We don't need him to. We just set him loose in Vice City. We give him a little cash to get started, okay? Then we go down. Pay him a little visit, right? See how he's doing. Thank <laughs> you. 
15 years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective thing. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee are dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy. Tell me you still got the money. No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy. My money. You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with. Wait, Sonny. You have my personal assurance that I'm going to get you your money back and the drugs, and I'm going to mail you the dicks of those responsible. Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you, neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because it's you, because we got history, I'm going to let you handle this. Look, honey, I got my word. I'll be in touch. some sleep he says <laughs> i have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee this is a disaster we are so screwed man <laughs> these gorillas listen to me are gonna come down here and rip my head off it's ridiculous i did not go to law school for this okay now what the hell are we gonna do shut up sit down relax i'll tell you what we're gonna do you're going to find out who took our cocaine, and then we're going to kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht, and all of Vice City's big players are going to be there, okay? I have an invite. Of course I have an invite. But there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door. No I way. I told not you, shut up. I'll go myself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't going to be a beer and strippers do. I mean, no offense, but I think that he might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Hey, look, here. Stop by Raphael's. Tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go. Come on. Who does that guy think he is? Now I gotta dress like a chump as well as hang out with him? I like this shirt. You got it.
fuck Mr. Rosenberg. I hope any recent problems have not affected his health or mental well-being, Mr. Persetti. He's just got a touch of agoraphobia. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And you? I just want my merchandise. Uh, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances for all involved. Of course, I have initiated my own lines of inquiry, but such a delicate matter will take time. Perhaps we will talk later. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to my father. Mr. Davis! Yeah, could you have a guest wife at my expectations? Of course, Daddy. Please, excuse me. Mercedes, you try living here. Anyway, let me point out some of our more distinguished guests. That's our congressman. Thank you. 